You are awesome in this place, our Father. You are, our hands to you we raise. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. So listen to the praise team one time, and then we want you to join it. Let's sing it all to the glory of God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, our Father. You are awesome in this place, our Father. Our Father. You are worthy of the praise. You are worthy of the praise. Our hands to you we raise. Our hands to you we raise. You are awesome in this place. 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 You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Singing, you are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place, mighty God, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, our Father, our Father. You are worthy of the praise. You are worthy of the praise. Our hands to you we raise. You are awesome in this place. 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 Mighty God. We're going to listen to you, audience. Come on and sing it for us. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. How many know he's awesome in here? You are awesome in this place, our Father. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy of the praise. Our hands to you we raise. Our hands to you we raise. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome, Lord. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome, Lord. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy of all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Turn with us, if you will, to Matthew 24th chapter. And the Bible written, it reads as follows. We're going to read two verses apiece from the 32nd verse down to the 39th verse. And it reads as follows. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When its branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all, thing, all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Glory to God. I know we're taping, but I just, <laughs> hallelujah. 
Matthew, uh, Matthew uh, 24, 30, 38, 39. Ah. Oh. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Hallelujah. Hey, my soul get happy when I think about the law. I can't help myself. God's been good to me. All my days, God's been good to me. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. When I think about what the Lord done for me, my soul get happy. I can't help myself. Hallelujah. I'm going to start at the 38th verse. For as the days that were before the flood, they were but eating and drinking, married and giving in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took all, took them all away. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be. May God have a blessing his red word. Yeah, praise God. Praise God. you go into worship of the Bible says let everything that has breath praise him if you came in a rolling drunk you've had your chance to praise him just for letting you live you played cards all night long and gambled to early this morning and then got drunk 
you had a right to come in here and say, God, I thank you because you give me a little more time to make my wrongs right. But when it comes to worship, <laughs> you must worship him in spirit, in your spirit. Never mind about the Holy Spirit because the seraphims and, ser and cherubims are always around the altar worshiping God. Jesus said you must worship him in spirit and in sincerity. That's what means the truth. Wave at him one more time. Say, Lord, I love you. Uh, we got to. Don't care about why your visitors, your family members. I mean, amen. Some are Catholic. Amen. And some are Baptists and some are Seventh-day Adventists. Amen. Come on here. Come on here. But when it comes to worship, your spirit just steps out of yourself. And in this day, we talk a lot about praise and worship. Your spirit steps out. I mean, you go from Toda. You go from Yada to Toda. And then from Toda to Barak. And from Barak to Shabbat. And then you shift gears. They all don't like to shift gears to Hallel, the highest praise. We, it's just become a phrase. We just say it. Hallelujah, the highest praise. We never get there. Come on here. We get cheap. Come on here now. I got to preach this morning. The second coming of the Lord. So that Jesus is coming soon. This is a teaching. This is a doctrine that did not start with Baptist or Methodist or Catholicism. It did not start third or fourth century after the church was started by the apostles founded on Jesus Christ. This is not a superstition. This is not a boogeyman superstitious teaching to try to scare the devil out of you. We do not preach about hell, damnation, and hell fire trying to scare no devil out of you. If we won't try to scare you, we'd put on Halloween masks. We'd come in here looking like something, a nerd or something like that, or Ewok or something like that, and turn off the lights and just pop like they do when you go through the dark tunnel. What they call that, that house, what they call that place? The haunted house. If we thought that we could scare the devil out of you. Truth is just truth. The saints don't get upset when the preacher preach about hellfire and damnation. No, no. Neither do the sinners get happy when you preach about going to heaven because they say, I ain't got no ticket. So I can't ride. In the scripture that was read to you, there's just that's just a sample of what Jesus said about the him coming back again. We want to just deal with it because I've got to get out of here at one o'clock and and we're going to continue some teaching at 6 o'clock seminar. But the reason the Lord laid on my heart, because there's a lot of superstitious things going on. The Bible plainly says here, about three times that in verse 36 as a text, in the Living Bible it says, but no one knows the date and hour when the end will come, not even the angels. No, nor even God's son, only the father knows. At this time, Jesus was here on earth. At this time, Jesus was in the last days before he was crucified. In a few hours, he was going to be, they were going to stretch him wide and hang him high, drive nails in his hands and feet. And uh, we later on celebrate it. Uh, I don't know why we celebrate, because every Sunday should be the Lord's day. We should be remembering that he died for us, shed his blood. And not only did he die, but he rose again. Now, Confucius died, but he's still in the grave. Buddha died, he's still in the grave. Mohammed died, he's still in the grave. No one denies that. Y'all ain't hearing me. They who found that Taism and Sikhism, they died, they're in the grave. No one, no, none of their participants, died. but we have undeniable proof that he rose. Because no smart aleck has been able to find this corpus delecti. No one has found his body. Y'all ain't hearing me. And I know he rose because he said, when I, ri when I go away, I'm going to rise. And uh, I'm going to send you somebody to be on the inside of you. So every now and then I feel God's spirit. Wave your hand if you feel his spirit. His presence. 
I mean, really feeling. I don't cheat. I mean, you know, I, I ain't talking about in your head you accept it. I ain't talking about, the, I'm not talking about the, what they call platonic love. I'm not talking about Plato's type of love. I ain't talking about brain connected, internetting to brain. I'm talking about heart to heart and yeah. foot to foot and hand to hand and Come on here now. Come on here. I, I mean, you understand Eros. If you understand Eros, you can understand fil Filio. You understand Filio, you can understand Agape. Now, you know, ain't no use acting like that Eros is the only thing that you can feel. Look at somebody and say, I can feel God's love. For he's real. Ah, I can feel the wind blowing and can't see it. It brought the wind chill factor down. I didn't see no wind, but I felt the cold. They tell me Monday, the wind gonna blow in some heat. I'm not gonna see the wind. I'm gonna enjoy the heat or the warmth. And right now, I don't see the Holy Ghost nor see God, but I enjoy the feeling. I feel warm. Oh, mess with me, I get fever. <laughs> I gotta try to preach. <laughs> I know how you feel, Deacon. Some of just yeah, one time, glory. Oh, Some of hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you must worship him in spirit. When his spirit gets by, you all the, your spirit ought to hook up. Oh, uh, this is the spirit filled church. Uh, don't be surprised. Yeah, I ain't surprised. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. May we introduce you to Mr. Holy Ghost. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. We'll be back on station. We just had to... We got to pay our sponsor, commercial time. We got to pay our sponsor so he'll keep on keeping us on the air. We don't pay your sponsor. We don't pay El Shaddai. We don't lift Jesus up. <laughs> broke, I want him to sponsor me. When I need a loan, I want him to speak for me. My children need to go to college, I want him to sponsor me. So I ain't bothering the sponsor. Jesus is coming back soon. Keep on being happy. The Bible says <laughs> that no one knows the day or the hour. Not even the angels. Jesus, the immaculate lamb. Jesus, Mary's baby, heaven's hero. Jesus, Emmanuel. Jesus, Rose of Sharon and Lily of the Valley. Say that this time I am restricted in my omniscience, in my ability to know it right now. The Father has withheld since I have been manifested in the form of man. Right now, even the Father has not told me when he's going to end this. But in a few days, I'm going to come up out of the grave and I will sit on the right hand of the Father and then I will know. But he let them know that even though that there will come a time when I take on divinity again, put on my godship again, sit and identify myself as one with the Father, I still will not let it be known down here. And so the apostles and the early church, the church in the book of Acts when there were no denominations, the church when there were no Baptists, no Methodists, no Catholic, no Seventh-day Adventists, no, 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 no Pentecostal, no Charismatic, and when there was just church, and everybody was called Christians, uh, uh, when everybody got cussed out, when everybody had to run, uh, when they had no church buildings, had no, come on here now, 300 years before they had church buildings, before they had cathedrals great or small, 
the early church believed that Jesus Christ could come back in their lifetime. Because before he, in this last day, I believe it was Tuesday, when he did, spent all day teaching. And if you really want to keep up with the Bible, go on into the 25th chapter where he talked about the parable of the ten virgins. We don't have time to tell you this here. Now, you're going to need a little Bible knowledge because we're just going to just do a little dab about you got to read in Daniel. And you have to read in yeah. 1 Corinthians and in Thessalonians and in Revelation to get the whole uh, everything that was said about the second coming. But uh, it, we want to establish the fact that it's not an idle superstition. All right, all right. It's not something that your mama told you to try to scare you into living right. Because right. people not, you know, you don't live right because you're scared. You live right because you love the Lord. Right. And if you love the Lord, you love yourself. Right. You, you, you do right because you love yourself. See, it, it just pays to serve the Lord. Right. See, the wages of sin is death. Right. The gift of God is eternal life. And so while you're here, you can get a little bit of eternal life. I mean, you, you can do better. You, see, we call it, while it's here, we call it abundant life. I mean, that means God adds to a life. How many of y'all ain't hearing me? That means y'all ain't hearing me, that you can live and feel better. Uh, we ain't got time for you to testify. How many know that since you've been saved, you feel better in here? Uh, you, you, you feel like running sometimes? And ain't nobody after you? You walk around with a smile on your face and you ain't had a drop to drink? Ain't shot up on nothing, ain't, ain't lined on nothing. You just have a perpetual smile. And say, that you ought to see in my heart. Say, I'm grinning in my heart. I'm just smiling out here so you won't think I'm crazy. How many know that? How many know that all around you shines and, 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 and storm may rise and, and fire may burn and, 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 and you may get thrown in the river, but you say, none of these things move me. I have joy. And if I don't have it now, I'm going to keep on believing, Lord, and in the morning. Even though the trouble don't cease in the morning, I look back on where I came from and say, if I made it that 24 hours, I can make it another 24, y'all. If I can make it one 24, I can make it 24-1. If I can make it 24-1, I can make 24-7, y'all in here. If I can make it 24-7, I can make it 29 days. If I can make it 29 days, I can make it 30 days. If I can make it 30 days in February, I can in January, I can make it through February. If I can make it through February, it's just another day. It's another Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If I can make it now, I can keep on making it. All I have to do is make my mind, I'm going to keep on taking it. I'll not forsake him. I trust him. I'm going to trust him. Not understand him, but trust him. Yeah. Not receiving answers. Why? I'm just going to trust him. He will take care of me. Things are going to get better. Every cloud has a silver lining. Every storm has a rainbow. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That's working right now. Is coming back one day. Specifically to get us out of this hell here on earth. To get his children out of here. For Lord knows that they tightening up on us. The more you live right. The more you, the Christians talk about God. The more they find places to take God out. In 1950 or something they took God out out of the schoolroom, But I want to know that that same Madeline Murray left. Now the Athens University is defunct. Over a year it has been out of existence. I mean it, the buildings are standing, it's growing up in weeds and uh, they don't know where she is. They finally decided that they think that she took $652,000 from the university and went somewhere to Australia to retire. They haven't heard where she is. Y'all ain't hear me. Well, that shouldn't surprise anybody who don't believe in God. They'll steal your mamas, your grandmamas, whatever. Amen. You know what I mean, don't, 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 don't play around with the world and then get all surprised when they, don't be surprised when a snake bites you. They've been hissing all this time. Just because you didn't, just because they were hissing in your ear. Come on now. And, 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 and snake is cold. I don't care how hot you are. A snake is cold. I ain't talking about nobody in here. I'm talking. You know, a snake is cold. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. He may get frozen, want to get thawed out, but when he get thawed out, he's still cold. Uh, so he likes to wrap around things, and he likes to bite. Amen. And all he say, "Well, you knew I was a snake." Uh, uh, 
But Jesus is coming soon to get us out of here. The Bible says in one place that of all the things that we say, there is going to be a tightening of the vice. Paul told Timothy in the last days, read the newspaper, look at the TV, look at the news. In the last days, uh, how do we know whether we don't know the day or the hour and, and neither do we know the year. Now I know, let me just skip a minute, let me just go back a little bit. One reason I, Lord had me preach on this because now people are always predicting Amen. when the Lord is coming back. Oh, yeah. Someone asked at six o'clock seminar and I, I wasn't up on an answer some question, but I read a little bit later on now, great, uh, Christian people are talking about in the year 2000. <laughs> well see, and let me tell you something. See, I don't know when he's coming back. But I guarantee you, it won't be the year 2000. Right. Now, he may come in 2001, but, you know, but the thing of it is that ever since Jesus spoke these things and the church started, it didn't take long but a few years for all the signs to come to pass. Yeah. Now, they've been going on earthquakes in various places, uh, 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 trouble on every hand, uh, violence, rape, incest, murder, yeah. Drive by, we, now we call it drive by shootings, still murder, you know. Uh, now, now we call it gang violence, still murder. Now we call it rape and incest, still murder. Y'all ain't hearing me. Now we call it child abuse and spousal abuse, abuse, still murder. Now we call it that OJ stuff, but it's still murder. Y'all don't hear me. Ever who did it? Amen. See, the Bible lets us know in the last days, read the newspaper. Dangerous, perilous, dangerous time. We over in Timothy now. I don't have time to turn to that. I told you there's a whole lot to say. It's more than just this one verse Amen. about the second coming in the last days. In other words, we know this here. Mark this down, that we are living in the last days. How long it will last, I don't know. Every year, more and more earthquakes happen. Read the scientific data. Every year, more severe earthquakes happen. Maybe they don't happen over here all the time, but you can read over in India, the sundown earthquake will come and take out 10,000 of people. Y'all don't hear me. Uh, 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 more and more forest fires are burning down. And you tell Smokey Bear, it wasn't all the time somebody was smoking. Sometimes the Lord just sent lightning. Y'all ain't hearing me. Sometimes the Lord, it wasn't always pale mail or, or Philip Mars dropped somewhere. Come on here. The Lord sent lightning sometimes and said, I just need to burn, baby, burn. Y'all ain't hear me. Because he is in charge. I didn't say no devil. The Lord, y'all ain't hear me. The Lord don't invent nothing that he ain't not in, still in charge of. He is El he's Jehovah Sabbath, Lord of the host. Now, every time something happens don't mean it's the devil. Now, you be a Christian. You be a child of God and you do wrong. The Lord himself will pick your tail up and spank you. Sometimes he may let the devil kick your butt, but sometimes he just pick you up and spank you for his own good, y'all. Because he is your heavenly father, and he has a right. And ain't nobody going to take him into court and call no 911 on him. Y'all ain't hearing me. He'll spank you, and you won't see no switch. He'll spank you, and you won't have no bruise mark. He'll spank you, and take your conscience and spank. How many have been spanked by their conscience? Tossing and turning all night long. I know I shouldn't have done it. I know I shouldn't have done it. I know I was good, but I shouldn't have done it. I ain't going to do that. I shouldn't even have thought that way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just let me live. Thank you, God. But don't let me live. I ain't going to do it no more. Please get help me. Conscious up. Look at somebody say, God can whip you. He can mess you up. I mean, God. See, because if he let the devil loose, the devil will kill you in your mess. So sometimes he just spanked you so you can live. See, he's full of grace and mercy. The devil full of death and destruction. So every time you do wrong, sometimes check yourself. Sometimes you have a car wreck. The Lord trying to tell you something. Sometimes you lose your bill for the Lord trying to tell you something. Sometimes when you get caught and go to jail, the Lord trying to tell. I'm talking about the saints now. The Lord trying to tell you something. Your, your thing you love the most getting missing. The Lord trying to tell you something. You're going to wait for color. Y'all going to wait for color purple. Going to wait for the quiet lady. We're going to tell you something. Y'all don't believe nothing now. Jesus said here, if you read this in lesson, several times he said that no man knows the day or the hour. Now there are people in some states 
looking at the side of a hotel, and they are saying that uh, it looks like a statue of the Virgin Mary. But I want to tell you that the Bible also said that before Jesus comes back, the devil is going to be very powerful, that he's going to work some miracles. Y'all didn't hear me. He's going to get so powerful in the book of Revelation now. Uh, he's going to get so powerful that he will even call down fire from heaven. Amen. Now, if the devil can call down fire from heaven, you know he can paint a window, y'all. And, 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 and people are kneeling. You better come to church and kneel. You better pray to, you better pray to J-E-S-U-S. You better pray to the Messiah. You better pray to the one who died for you, y'all. You hear me? Because Mary is resting in heaven. Mary is just like all the others. She don't want to have nothing to do with all in hearing me. It even say that Jesus sat down on the right hand of the Father because there is a fountain filled with blood. Now it's up to you. Y'all ain't hearing me. The devil is going to do more than this. You're going to have to learn that Je all the signs that Jesus come back have been fulfilled. Though they keep on happening, there's nothing new going to happen. He said there'd be signs in the sky. Every time you look around, airplanes now they're saying it's a common thing now. They just fell out of the air. Fixing the land and they're flying along good and they just went into a nosedive. The same angel, y'all don't have to believe the prophet. The same angel that sat on Nassau's uh, satellite and they couldn't get the door open and no, nothing could show why it couldn't be open. There was an invisible angel sitting there. It would not let them open the door. God is mad at mankind trying to do the Tower of Babel, think that they can fly up there and lead it a messed up water pollution, earth pollution, people pollution, school pollution, politician pollution, church, po the church is polluted. Now the devil has come in the church. Oh, yeah. Now the church dressed just like the world, talk just like, cuss just like the world, think just like the world, fornicate like the world, adulterate just like the world, screw just like the world, do just like the world, live like the world, shack like the world, dress like the world, show their nakedness like the world, and then expect God. Y'all ain't hearing me. I hope you are embarrassed. My mouth is bought and paid for. I'll soon be 70 years old, and the Lord is blessing me right now. Don't you bother me, because I can't cope. Know what you're looking at me for. I didn't come here to stay. When he comes back, in case I don't get to it, when he comes back, all those that are his, he knows them. All those, when Jesus comes back, the Bible teaches here, right in this here, that when he comes back, it's going to be like a thief in the night. He's not going to knock on the door and say, I'm back. He's not going to send no Western Union telegram. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Stop your sinning. He's not going to tell nobody, well, 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 get, get up off of get up off of At midnight, I'm going to be here. He don't know when he's coming. He might come at it's almost quarter one. He might come at quarter one the day. Everything that has been fulfilled so he can come back has been fulfilled. Every sign has keeps on being fulfilled over and over again. The early church believed that Jesus Christ might come back before they covered the earth. And that's why they were so busy trying to take the gospel into all the earth so that, that was, they would not be responsible for people not hearing. And we need to get busy. That's why we're on TV trying to do our part because I want them to hurry up and come. Look at somebody say, all this hell here on earth. If it gets any worse. Now, a parent say, I can stand it. Grandparents say, I'm saved. But my children, my children, my children, my children, my children. My grands, my grands, my grands. Peer pressure, hell pressure, devil pressure, media pressure, uh, topoxy crew pressure, motley crew pressure, heavy deep pressure, rock and roll pressure, acid rock pressure. Dance pressure, booty pressure, mm -hmm. sex pressure, homosexual pressure, lesbian pressure, crazy pressure, paranoid pressure, sin pressure, pressing in, be like me, do like me, crack pressure, heroin pressure, dope pressure, 
sniffing pressure, smoking pressure, Budweiser, it don't make you wise, it make you dumber. Red dog make you a dog. Bull make you a bull and a cow. And he ain't had a drop. Ferdinand come out, he's crazier than, than Ferdinand the bull and Elsie the cow. Yeah. And he ain't had a drop of bull to drink. You the one busting through the walls. You the one tearing up your household because you drank some damnation bull in the name of TV. Tearing up your household, tearing up your marriage, tearing up your good name, tearing up your police record, tearing up your mind, tearing up your body, chewing up your liver, cooking your, your pancreas. Telling them lies that the doctor said, well, maybe the doctor was a cocaine addict. If he's a cocaine addict, he's so crazy, he might tell you to get, drink, give your baby some beer. He might tell you drink some beer to flush your kidneys. I got news for you. Didn't you take no health in school? Drink eight glasses of water and your kidneys will be flushed. Get up off that Coke Cola and then Pepsi Cola, y'all hear me, and drink some fresh water. It's cheaper and it is healthy. It's cheaper than a six pack. I mean in the long and the short run. It even tastes better. I don't know why y'all cultivate, you gotta cultivate a taste for that nasty stuff. Ain't none of it sweet, ain't none of it chocolate. Now you got your children, they found out the young people didn't wanna drink beer like they wanted to, so they put it in coolers, put flavor, and you got your children going around and thinking that they could drink a cooler and they don't have no alcohol content just because the government will not even allow them to put no alcohol content. Teenagers have died drinking six or seven coolers, thought they were drinking Pepsi Cola because of the alcohol content. Help me in here, someone. Jesus, Maranatha. Paul said, Maranatha, Jesus, hurry up and come back here. Hurry up and get, come and get me. I got my ticket. I'm ready to ride. I want out of here. Hurry up. Come see about me. Oh, yeah. You promise. If, if MacArthur. Yes, sir. If a General MacArthur could leave the Philippines and say, Japs, you have defeated me. But as he waded out to the LST in the sea, he turned and shook his finger and said, I shall return. A few months later, he came back with some new Marines, came back with some new sailors, came back with some new equipment, and took the Philippines back. If a mere man is dead now, could shake his finger at a slant-eyed Jap yes, and said, I shall return and conquer the territory that belongs to the United States. I'm so glad in the book of Acts, the first chapter, Jesus told them, look here, I'm going away. And I'm going to stay until I come back again. And a cloud came down and he stepped on the cloud. And it went past. The third heaven went past the second heaven. Disappeared in the clouds. And they were standing there looking up. Trying to pierce. Trying to look through the exosphere. Trying to look through the troposphere. Trying to look through the atmosphere. Trying to look beyond the Milky White Way trying to look beyond the moon 231,000 miles away trying to look beyond the sun 93 million miles away trying to look beyond Saturn, Mars, Venus and Jupiter uh, but they couldn't see Jesus no more the angels came down and said what are you standing there acting stupid for I told you to go to Jerusalem and get some power why are you standing there acting stupid uh, they say we miss him he said, didn't he tell you that he will soon be back? Get about your father's business. Get about saving some souls. He's giving somebody time to get their business straight. Go preach the gospel under every creature. That's what we need to do. Start telling somebody that Jesus saves. Start telling somebody, get your stuff in order. Tell the gambler and the midnight rambler. That there's a better way. Tell the whore on the block. Tell the crack hole and the ABC hole. Tell them, tell, excuse me, tell the ladies of the night. Mm -hmm. Tell the whores and the whoremongers. Tell the hoes and they all ain't hearing me. Tell your mama, tell your grandmother, tell your sister and your brother. While you yet have a chance, while blood's running warm in your veins, before Jesus pulled the curtain down, 
before he puts eternity to eternity and tempers future time shall be no more before Gabriel blows his trumpet and before grandmother gets out of her grave they say when he comes back something is going to happen a catastrophic event is going to happen quicker than a twinkle of an eye I didn't say faster than sound at travel 600 feet a second uh, faster than light uh, y'all help me a little while Jesus 186,000 miles per second faster than the twinkling of an eye Jesus is going to be on the scene if you're in church uh huh one, shall be, one deacon shall be taken and another deacon left all you have to do is just read in this same chapter Jesus put it this way say when it happens Somebody going to be sleeping. There going to be a two saints in the, there going to be two people in the bed. The husband he's saved and the wife she ain't saved. Or vice versa. But anyway, Jesus if he comes at night, one going to turn over and reach for the pillar. They're going to get up and go in the bathroom and say maybe she's upstairs cleaning her. Or maybe she in there making a sandwich. Or, or maybe it's him and they're going to look all over. Yeah. And someone's going to get the cussing. That woman ran out on me. Wow. But they find out her suitcases have been packed. Her clothes are still hanging there. In fact, her nightgown is laying on the floor. Uh-huh. And they're going to call the neighbor. Neighbor, my wife is missing. You know that old sanctified woman. Always dancing and prancing. She's talking about Jesus is coming back. Say, she done left me. And somebody's going to say, well, mine ain't here either. And all the babies are gone. And I just called over to John's house. And he came in at 3 o'clock. And he got the same story. Yeah, if you're on a plane, uh -huh, you better be saved. Because if the pilot ain't saved, if the pilot is saved, the pilot, the plane going to be without a pilot. And you're going to crash. Y'all ain't hearing me. When Jesus come back, Everybody better than internet. Everybody that's got their ticket, they're going to ride. Everybody that's really saved, that's really saved. I don't say that, holler, Lord, Lord. I didn't say everybody to shout. I didn't say everybody to speak in tongues. I didn't say everybody to raise their hands in praise. I didn't say every preacher. I didn't say every bishop. I didn't say every deacon. I didn't say every choir member. I didn't say every bench member. I didn't say every school teacher. I didn't say every morally good person. Only those who've been born again, those who've been dipped in the water, been to the water and been baptized. It chilled their body but not their soul. Those that turned right and went straight ahead. Those that through trials and hardships went through Job punishment, been talked about, lied on. All of a sudden, all over the world, fast as you can snap your finger, they should disappear. At the same time, Evergreen gonna have a calypsion. All you gonna know, you will not see the spirits leaving. All you will know, graves pop open. And ain't no vandals there. All you're going to know, evergreen, call all of them. All you're going to know, all of a sudden, gray just pop open. At one moment, not one at a time, not row by row, all of a sudden, they pop open. And the thing with it is, you're going to look in the mausoleums for bodies, and if the saints, now look here, we're going to leave bodily. We ain't going to die and leave no bodies for nobody to bury. We're going to be gone. Those that are in the grave are going first. Yeah, but it's going to happen so second, faster than a nanosecond, that when we get to the cloud, we all arrive there at the same time. Yeah. We will get on the cloud with Jesus yeah. and go back. Yeah. We'll be singing, didn't I tell you? It'd be all right. <laughs> didn't I tell you? <laughs> it's going to be a brighter day. You're going to say bye-bye to this world. Now, I ain't got time to tell you. You that stay here, go on and have church. Go on, you'll find a preacher that will lie to you. You'll find a preacher to entertain you. He'll have a ministry of liars. 
He'd have a ministry of homosexuals. He'd have a ministry of drunkards. He'd have a ministry for heroin addicts. They ain't talking about trying to cure nobody. You can come and smoke your cigarettes in the church service. You can come naked if you want to. Don't even have to put a towel around you. Say that your thing is you're a nudist. You can dress like you want to dress. You don't have to do the Holy Ghost shout. You can boogie down the aisle. You can butterfly down the aisle. You can bring your cards and sit on the front row and play pinochle and play bridge. You can bring your guns and your knives and shoot one another. You can have what you, like you want to have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For three and a half years, everything going to look all right. We so glad to have them crazy Christians. Crazy Patterson ain't here no more. Laying us out, pointing at us, calling us hoes and whole mummies. He ain't there. I don't know where he is. Uh, I won't be in Switzerland. I won't be in Brazil. I got to get out of here. I won't be in Hawaii. I'll be in a place out of gunshot of the devil. I'll be somewhere on Hallelujah Avenue. If I'm not on Hallelujah Avenue, go to Glory Boulevard. If we're not on Glory Boulevard, go to Overcoming Alley. Somewhere, 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 somewhere in that unclouded day. Somewhere, 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 somewhere. 